The Spark system comprises three main components. Firstly, the language design itself uh, is a programming language specifically designed for the development of embedded and high assurance systems. The language comprises a, a subset of the ADA language, which is very strictly defined. Um, and then there's a system of contracts which we've added to the language to, to enhance the expressive power of the language, particularly to express properties that we want to be able to check um, properties that we wish to be either true or not true about the software. So, for example, we might want to specify a particular safety property or a particular security property, which we can then use verification tools to, to, to confirm. The second part of the system is basically a system of verification tools, which are very much linked to the language design itself. The verification tools are very special uh, because they're designed to offer analysis which is said to be sound. What that means is basically the toolset is capable of finding all the bugs of a particular type. And that's very, very special because then we can reduce the dependence later on on trying to find those bugs by other techniques. The third part of the, the system, if you like, is really a sort of an emergent property of it. Um, when people have used Spark for, say, a few months after they've learned the language, we find their behaviour changes and the language and the technology becomes a discipline. It becomes a behavioural aspect where people's way of thinking about software design changes, particularly the way people think about verifying software, which is usually the most risky part of a process for, for a high assurance system, changes to the point where we modify the verification steps necessary um, to be more aligned with a kind of lean approach um, to verification rather than relying on testing and downstream activities.